Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me. And um, I'm just coming on to discuss just a little bit about Capricorn and um, its energy, you know, uh, going retrograde, going internal. And um, I did a class last week on, um, I believe it was cancer. Sometimes I forget things anyway. Um, cancer. Yep cancer. And um, before I really got into the personality and the aspects of cancer, you know, I, I felt like it was a need to explain other things, um, such as the energy and how it moves in certain times. And cancer being a water sign uh, will bring on uh, watery um, feelings, meaning that you are going to feel uh, emotional. And, you know, I always add scriptures with my uh, work uh, and, and my discussions. And so when you look at the water, if you're emotionally out of sorts, then um, Christ would have said, um, Peter, O thou of little faith, because Peter became afraid and woke him up out of his sleep because of the storm. And that uh, emotion in Peter was what brought um, Peter to the mindset to wake up Jesus. And so Peter was being navigated to actually being prompted to learn how to master his emotions. And that's what we all have to do. So in this time when Capricorn is um, raining, uh, one of the things that we have to understand is it's a slow energy. And that means that we have to slow ourselves down um, mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's not going to be something that you just can do. You have to work on the inner self or your inner spirit meditating going within if you are a hyper person or someone that has a lot of energy it's not to say to do away with your energy but it is to say to balance your energy and that's what a slow moving planet like a capricorn would do for instance a person that has a capricorn sun they are methodical about how they do their work how they go about their day they don't just jump into stuff they think about it and one of the issues uh that can come up though with them is that they may think too long on it so there's still uh the the word balance and so with capricorn being um the predominant planet at this time uh the retrograde has come uh yes pluto is in retrograde i just don't i don't want to talk about pluto right now because it would be too much information, but just to get the idea to people why things are slow moving, even concerning going back to work and um, doing what you want to do is because you're learning how to adapt to different types of lifestyles. The energies come in and man has no control over that. What man does have control over is his self. They don't have control over the universe. Uh, that is something that shows us that uh, there is a God and there is a supreme being that is ruling things. So with uh, the energy of Capricorn, Saturn, of course, is um, the energy or the planet that the energy is coming from for Capricorns. And in this time, Capricorns um, are looking at rebuilding or going back and rebuilding old structures. That's what we're doing. And uh, that is the focus. So anything that was out of a line in your life, Capricorn energy, no matter if you are Aries, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, this is a time of realignment. All of the 12 signs are just like the 12 tribes. And therefore, the alignment is what's being called. Now, what will happen is if people move too fast and they go back to the old, they're going to be um, disheartened because that old energy is gone. That's why we're seeing a isolation period. I'm not talking about a pandemic. I'm talking about something that has given us an ability to look at the way that we've done things and how we can change them. And that means that um, spirit is pouring out information. You know, Aquarius is the water bearer and we know that Aquarius and Saturn have been in um, conjunction I think in February and April, you know, February, Feb February and March, 
maybe into a part of April. And what that meant is, is that Saturn was communicating with um, Uranus about how they can make the world better. Those energies were coming and saying, how can we make the world better? So an Aquarius individual would be looking at the information that's actually coming and have confidence that it's time for them to go into a place where they're going to start creating freedom for themselves and people because that's what Uranus is about. It does bring shock, shock value, but Uranus is the planet that um, rules uh, Aquarius along with Saturn. All right. So Saturn is saying, okay, this old stuff that you used to do, it's not working. This old economic system that you used is not working. We're going to shut this down. While everybody is working to get back to an, that old paradigm of economics, they're not looking at the fact that it didn't fit well for everyone. Yeah. And so as we push forward to go back into an old paradigm, what do you have? Self-defeat. You also have been put in a place where you're not acknowledging what the universe is actually asking for. And so some of the frustration that we have here right now is because we're not adapting and we don't want to change. When many people have said they want to change, they don't see it. It's fluid. Go with the flow. Meditate. Ask spirit what it is for you to do, because this is the age that the water bearer is pouring out. And you can find the water bearer, by the way, in Luke 21. Aquarius is the, the water bearer. And it is significant for um, the water of life being poured out. So you, you can get water and get new life, the abundance that Christ spoke about, or you can get life in the aspect that you did before. Was that justified or was it not? And that's a question that you'll have to answer. Were you happy with um, January or February of this year? Were you happy with two years ago? If you say yes, then stick with what you got. If you say no, then allow yourself to receive a change that can change this world if it was a collective thought process as well. Saturn is a methodical energy, which means that it calculates its moves, not by what everybody says, but it's, it moves by the information that's coming in through it. And that means that people that are under that sign and those that are also in this world receiving that energy because Saturn is a mass planet. It's not a personal planet. It is one of the big boys. Everyone's getting this information. And some people are fighting against the changes that the universe are bringing collectively. So where are you at in that? And if you want to know where Saturn is in the Bible, Cross-reference Saturn, the Lord of Karma, the Lord of Harvest, the Lord of Beginning and Ends. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. And if you want to be a part of my classes, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com because I do classes on this information. and. Um, I always add the biblical aspect because that's what spirit has taught me. Um, so in order for us to integrate mind, body, and spirit, we look at theology, psychology, and astrology. We are three part human beings. One is spirit. And so if we don't acknowledge what is happening in the heavenlies, to navigate through, then we will not know what to do to make this world and our talents a better world. We are here because we were chosen by God, the energy of God within us. That is a star from the heavenlies. It does not dismiss any inspired words from prophets, seers. The connection is there because the wise men followed the star to Jesus. All right. So you guys have a wonderful day. Sign up for my classes and you will also get a wealth of information, but also 
sign up when you see the information on consulting because you want to know how to recreate your life and recreate possibly the industry that you're in because that's where we are we're in a time and a season of recreation blessings <laughs>